All right, guys, so what we're going to go over today is a sequence that uh, Crone Gracie hit this weekend in the UFC for his debut fight. So we're going to start out first with how he closed the distance and got the clinch. We're going to do a takedown that he tried but he didn't get. Then we're going to do the takedown he got. Then we're going to do the rear naked choke, and then I'm going to add something that he didn't have to do if the rear, rear naked choke uh, doesn't work. All right, so what he did, he came out, and very old school, he gave a little tap to the knee. So I give a tap to the knee, he threw a jab, he slipped the jab, and he closed the distance right away. Came around and got this grip. Then he came over and put the, the hook in all the way across. Same way Henzo Gracie did in 1FC a few months back. All right, if I want to just do a takedown from here, which he didn't do this one, but we're gonna just start finishing this. I just hop, 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 dead, throw my hook in, pull the shoulders, get my seat up. So we come out, little teep, slip, close the distance, slide around to the back, throw it in, sag, sag, boom. Here, hold the shoulders, Get my seatbelt. One more. Inside. Boom. Control. If I want, I can go this side too. Any questions? On um, three. One, two. This time, guys, we're gonna go closer to the wall because what Crone did is when he closed the distance, he, he brought him to the fence. So he threw the kick, slipped, came inside, turned, and they ended up against the, the fence. He threw the hook in, and what the guy was doing was trying to break his grip. So yeah, he was in here trying to break the grip. So he took this out and brought it over the top. And what he did to bring him down is he just swung, I'm gonna try to go easy. He just swung this over like a back take. Just swung the leg over. So when he broke the grip, so break the grip again, boom, he swung this over, and then he just, so go down nice and easy, he just swung it through, boom, and came here. Then as he was going for the choke, the guy was defending, grabbing his hands, and he was pushing it off, pushing it off, and then he just nice and tightly sunk it in. We're gonna do something else next, if the choke didn't work. But I came in, boom, slip. Came in, all the way across. He's breaking the grip, come over. Then he just swung, took a step out, and swung this over, and they fell. As he came, peeled the grips, peeled the grips. Then he just, boom. The way he did the choke, guys, so don't ever go here, because he can grab my wrist. This arm came behind the head, and here, just slipped right in. This is grabbing my shoulder, so now he can't defend, and then squeeze. Any questions? On three, one, two.
Alright guys, so look, a few people asked, what if I fall to the wrong side? Which it's not bad at all. You know, most of us uh, that do jiu-jitsu prefer falling to this side. But with MMA gloves on, sometimes it's hard to control these hands. Alright? So I'm here, you know, normally I want to be able to control the hands. I want to look to be able to trap an arm and go here. But let's just say with the MMA gloves on, it's a little hard to control. Alright? You guys are gonna put the foot on the hip. Bring this one over. If you have the body triangle, if you're tall, you're able to get the body triangle, it's already gonna be there anyways. Bring the arm on this side, control the wrist, control my wrist. Try to spin into me, he really can't. Pass this over, and take the arm. If he fell on the wrong side, not the wrong side, but the underhook side, instead of the overhook side, I still wanna look for my chokes. I still wanna be able to trap these arms. All right, still want to come in, come here if I could, but sometimes he's fighting. He's got my arms. Maybe he even tries to take this arm, bring it on the other side. This one, yeah, in here, I'm here. As long as I can control the wrist. Here, if he grabs, grab. Just come here, look to peel that arm off, and come here. One last one, I'll go nice and quick. Here. Any questions? On three, one, two.